Police in rural Pennsylvania are asking residents to look out for monkeys on the loose. That's after a truck carrying about 100 monkeys crashed into a dump truck Friday. Now, no people were injured, but authorities say four monkeys escaped. Two have been contained into small, in a small area, but two others remain on the loose in frigid temperatures. The monkeys were being driven to a lab in Florida. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how it starts. But we'll see what happens. First of all, so um, there was uh, monkeys <laughs> let loose. It sounds funny. Monkeys on the loose all over the freeway. Um, so there was a, a, there was an escape attempt, I suppose, from these monkeys. They were down for a lab. And one particular Good Samaritan, Michelle Fallon, she pulled over and saw it. And she thought maybe there were cats. She wanted to pet a few, rescue a couple. There's Good Samaritans out there. There's animal lovers, and I love them for it. She went over there and instead it was a monkey hissed in her face and it sprayed her with a mouthful of monkey juices. I'm not sure if that's specifically the uh, the medical or, or the scientific term for whatever was sprayed in her face, but it definitely uh, does not have her feeling well. So the next day she received, she I'm sorry, she developed pink eye symptoms. She had a cough and a runny nose uh, and then she's now receiving rabies treatments and has been told by the CDC to monitor her condition as it goes forward. Uh, I'm not sure the things that could potentially happen to her, but just those things right now, are enough to scare me. Um, just so you guys know this. Um, so by the way, I'm sorry, before we go to the, uh, potentially my experience in this situation, because you guys just don't know the things I've been through. Um, she does seem to be taking this pretty decently at least. So uh, really quick from her, she was talking to the USA Today, or at least USA, USA Today um, quoted this. Some locals are making out like, oh, I have this new monkey virus. It's a monkey pox and it's gonna be an outbreak. Uh, it's just a monkey hiss in my face. That's all that happened, and I want to protect myself. So um, she's getting a little bit of, of, I guess, concern. Maybe people are hoping that she's okay. Uh, let's take one more look at one of these monkeys that was jumping around, um, and she approached thinking it was a cat. I'm not sure at what point she, <laughs> she went from cat to monkey in her thought process, but um, all the other monkeys have been accounted for, and hopefully they're all safe. That is the first thought. And secondly, um, I hope our um, good Samaritan is also safe as well. Now. Um, I live with an animal lover. I live with two animal lovers. I have a wife and a kid. Uh, we have a dog that came into the house when I di didn't want it. You guys have seen Sprocket. Um, I've, I've grown to like the guy a little bit. But what happens in my family is if we see a stray dog on the side of the road anywhere, four lane, four lane street in Los Angeles, pull over, we gotta go get the dog. I said, do you know what that dog's temperament is? Do you know what that dog's got? Do you know if that dog wants you to approach it? Maybe that dog just got away from his abusive owner. He's having a great night. Well, we've rescued two to three dogs, so three of them, multiple dogs. And every time I'm like, please don't approach that dog. So if you have a cage full of monkeys that just fell out of a truck and you think it's a bunch of cats. I mean, I guess the Good Samaritan thing from my perspective is I'm gonna call maybe a, a, a animal control, any kind of services that can come out and help out. I'm not that guy. My name is not, um, who's the animal guy that used to appear, I'm gonna date myself. Who used to appear back in the day on Dave Letterman to show off all of his monkeys and his uh, uh, lemurs and everything like that. I'm not that guy, I'm not from Australia and I'm not an animal guy. I don't need to be bit, I don't need to be spit in the face by monkeys. He'll be okay, or if he isn't, it's not my responsibility. I'm sorry, maybe it sounds heartless, but what I don't want is for the next few weeks to have pink eye, runny nose, a cough, and wonder if I have some kind of new virus, disease, something that's gonna take me out, just saying. But anyways, I don't wanna discourage the Good Samaritans from doing what they do. You guys are wonderful, lovely people. Just take a couple seconds. We run a little bit too fast at the sight of a disaster like this. Take your time, protect yourself first. I know I'm the most cautious man in America, but that's why I'm still here.